Team coverage moves now to News Six's Jerry Askin. Jerry, the family spoke today and they're upset Orlando police didn't give them more time to watch the video and ask some more questions, right? That's right, Matt. The family, the emotional family, spoke out here earlier today here in downtown Orlando. They say the release of that body camera video really leaves them with more questions than answers. The video was so sickening to watch. I threw up while watching it. The family of Derek Diaz is still hurting and have so many questions after Orlando police released body camera video of the July 3rd incident when an Orlando police officer shot and killed Diaz in downtown Orlando. Sonia Nava is Diaz's child's mother. All we know from that video is that Derek was sitting in his car. He was not doing anything wrong. We were shown a video without any context. So we were not allowed to ask questions. Their family attorney, Natalie Jackson, said Orlando police showed the body camera video to Diaz's family before releasing it to the media. Why did the police approach Derek Diaz in the first place? Such as why did they say downtown Orlando, which is Jefferson and Orange Avenue, was a drug ridden area? They told me there are more questions than answers. And right now there are calls for more police training. We've seen so much money allocated for police training where is the training? It's really heartbreaking. Yeah, back live here in a statement today, Chief Eric Smith expressed his condolences to the Diaz's family for their loss and said his department is cooperating in the FDLE investigation. Also today, Diaz's child's mother told me the family has a GoFundMe account set up to try and raise money for his funeral, which is set for this Friday. I placed that link on our website on this story at clickorlando.com. We're live in downtown Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.